Today I'm sharing nine tips for beating bloat. Hi, I'm Jamie, registered dietitian nutritionist, and my goal is to liberate you from the struggles of eating well so that you could feel amazing in your body and nourish your way to a healthier you. So if you wanna eat healthier in a mindful way, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Feeling bloated is obviously no fun. And if you're experiencing bloat after you're eating, there's more than one reason why this might be happening. So getting to the root of why you're feeling this way is so important because you wanna be able to treat this properly. So when I'm sharing these nine tips for beating bloat, it's important to remember that you don't necessarily have to do all of these. It might be different for you and your unique needs. So just take that into consideration as we go through these different tips. So let's get to it. Here are nine tips for beating bloat. Tip number one, chew your food well. Digestion begins in your mouth. So when you chew your food well, all the way down to the consistency of think like an applesauce, then you're able to allow your body time to activate the salivary enzymes. This gives your lower GI tract a heads up that food is coming its way. And everyone could benefit from slowing down, but especially those with sensitive stomachs and if you're experiencing bloating, this of course is one of the first things that you could try. So give it a try, slow down, chew your food well before swallowing so that you can allow for optimal digestion. Tip number two, limit carbonated beverages. So beverages like soda or tonic water or sparkling water, club soda, and yes, champagne or beer are carbonated beverages, which means that they have extra air pumped into them to make them bubbly. And so this additional air is going to contribute to gas and bloating and abdominal pain. Also, if you are a straw user, this is another way for air to enter into your GI tract. So if bloating is an issue, you may wanna limit these beverages to see if it helps. Tip number three, consider FODMAP foods. So FODMAP stands for fermentable, oligosaccharide, disaccharide, monosaccharide, and polyols. And these are carbohydrates that you may have difficulty digesting, especially in the cases of irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease. FODMAPs are fermented by the gut and they can create gas and pain and bloating when they're undigested. They also have the ability to draw water into the intestine, which is going to contribute more to that bloating. So if you suspect FODMAPs to be an issue, you're going to wanna reach out for guidance from a registered dietitian nutritionist because this is a more complex issue. Tip number four, be mindful of sodium. So sodium is salt and salt is added to enhance flavor, preserve food, and it's an essential electrolyte. But salty foods could also leave you feeling super bloated since salt by nature holds onto fluids in the body. Reading nutrition labels, cooking meals at home where you're able to adjust the salt in the recipe, and eating less high sodium foods are ways to lower your overall sodium intake, which may help to reduce your bloating. Tip number five, ease into fiber. When fiber isn't a nutrient that you eat regularly, and you introduce higher fiber foods like beets, kale, and beans, this bulk of fibrous food has the ability to leave you feeling bloated. Fiber is a wonderful nutrient, don't get me wrong. Most of us aren't eating enough of it, but it's really best to gradually introduce fiber foods and remember to stay hydrated too. Fluids are going to help assist your digestion by moving this fiber through the digestive tract to help prevent bloat and constipation. Tip number six, eat enough magnesium. Whole foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and seeds are rich sources of the essential mineral magnesium. Your stomach cells need magnesium to initiate digestion and keep your stomach acid at the proper pH. When you aren't eating enough magnesium, you may find that you have sluggish digestion, which is going to contribute to bloating. Tip number seven, de-stress your body. Stress disrupts your entire body, including your digestive tract. When you're stressed, your fight or flight response is triggered, digestion slows so that your body can redirect its energy towards facing that perceived threat. So this interruption in digestion can lead to bloating. Finding ways to reduce stress through deep breathing, meditation, yoga, exercise, or reaching out and getting support is an excellent way to help to remedy some of the digestive issues and bloating that you may be experiencing. Tip number eight, brew a cup of ginger tea. So ginger root stimulates digestion, speeding up the process, which is wonderful for alleviating gas and bloating. 
You can boil ginger root in hot water for ginger tea or use the ginger root powder to season your recipes or in a smoothie so that you could reap the benefits. Tip number nine, try peppermint. Both peppermint tea and peppermint essential oil are able to put the stomach at ease by relaxing the smooth muscle. Peppermint is excellent for reducing pain and bloating after a meal. Remember, especially if your bloating is persistent, this is best done under the guidance of a registered dietitian nutritionist. If you found these tips for beating bloat helpful, please click the like button, comment below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you next time.